people aren't buying cars. Can GM really hold on until the economy turns around? Are the gays racing in to rescue the auto industry? Well, look at who car makers are now trying to pick up. I can see myself in this. 365 Gay News, powered by CBS News, starts now. Coming up, car makers want to take you for a ride. Really? The LGBT community is a very important factor. Why they're cruising for the gays. Car sales fell another 2% last month, but now car makers are in New York this week hoping to drive business back up. And exactly who they want to pick up to put behind the wheel may surprise you. Racing into New York, the 2009 Auto Show. But even with all the quick glances, hurried handling, and fast talking, rugged roof rails, Bluetooth technology, car sales still remain in park. People aren't buying cars. Can GM really hold on? Lost about $80 billion. So the auto companies really have to do everything they can to try to attract buyers. And this year, the buyers they want most... Oh, that's very convenient. ...are Ryan Bradbury and Anthony Vallone. What do you think? With the mainstream standing still, they, like many gays and lesbians, are on the move. I think we still are as, just as likely to buy a new car mm -hmm. um, as we would have been, you know, even five years ago. Today, that means their traffic here is more valuable than ever before. My traffic on GayWheels.com has actually been going up. Joe LaMoralia says the LGBT community hasn't been detoured by the economy, perhaps because 42% of gay men and 39% of lesbian women on his site are still reporting incomes above $100,000 a year. The affluent story is there. And car makers like General Motors are there, too. They're following the money by being the driving force behind LGBT events like speed dating, by being the financial vehicle behind gay programming like Road to Success. This is brought to you by the all-new 2008 Cadillac CTS. Every sale we make is important, and the LGBT community is a very important factor in that. The gay factor is a big factor for financial returns. GayWheels.com says GM Sobline is now number one with both gay men and lesbian women. So we certainly are hoping that our LGBT out reach will continue to pay dividends even during this downturn. Subaru was the first to move its ads towards the gay community in the early 90s. Now it's seen as the most gay friendly. I'm not surprised. We've been not only marketing to the community, but we've tried to walk the talk with domestic partner benefits and a variety of things. And at the end of the road, that may be what's putting customers and couples like this very comfortable. Seats are very supportive. into the driver's seat. I like it. Well, GayWheels.com says the top five car makers for gay men are Saab, Audi, Mini, Volkswagen, and Jaguar. For lesbians, they're Saab, Scion, Jeep, Subaru, and Saturn.